Get a red light. All right. Um, we are in session, and I would like to call us to Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. <laughs> at least those at the table. Um, our first item on the agenda is the um, fire rescue station uh, sprinkler system update. And we do have a letter from the state marshal's office, which, just because I know this is a hot topic for some people, I would like to read out loud. Dear Chief Alcadino, the purpose of this letter is to clarify the requirements for automatic sprinkler protection at the recently constructed Newton Fire Station. Our office is aware that your facility was completed in late 2018, and the town has been working since that time to address several code deficiencies as outlined in a corrective action plan by SFC Engineering dated October 23, 2018. At the time of occupancy, the newly constructed fire station lacked a compliant automatic sprinkler system. Recently, our office was asked to clarify the requirements for the automatic sprinkler system. The applicable code at the time of construction was the 2009 edition of NFPA 1, which was part of the state fire code as defined in RSA 153-1. New buildings, housing, emergency fire rescue, or ambulance services shall be protected throughout by approved automatic sprinkler systems per NFPA 113.3.2.3. Automatic sprinkler systems shall be installed and designed in accordance with NFPA 13 standard for the installation of sprinkler systems. Since the fire station lacks a compliant automatic sprinkler system, you are in violation with the state fire code. The town of Newton and the Newton Fire Department must complete the installation of a NFPA 13 compliant automatic sprinkler system throughout the facility to be in compliance with state law. So that at least clarifies that we are taking the right approach with our corrective action and moving forward with a complete automatic sprinkler system. Can I just make one comment on that? Yes. Did it give you a date that it needed to it be? It did not. If no. it did, like you would have, have heard that. one. I read it, <laughs> I read it twice good. just in case. That was just to okay. clarify saying that we yep. have just to do it. Yep. Right. Now, so, it, so it, did, that. it yep. did refer to the corrective action plan, mm -hmm. so which we do have. Yep. So. And as, as I, I think I asked for, I know we all were in agreement, I asked for last time was regular communication between our, our builders and the state fire marshal's office. So I'm sure that's going to continue that as far as updates. I did ask Jeff Murphy uh, last week and he had said at this time there was no updates. Yeah. All right, so now we have quotes for the police station. Uh, this is for a fire alarm system. So as you know, the chief is out today. He's not feeling well. Um, the two of us spoke and we went through the quotes and um, the one we think would be the best to go with is security team. They are the least expensive and I actually will do the most. And I would have to agree they are significantly lower Plus than the six. other two yeah. quotes. But the third one on that list um, didn't even install any, didn't install smoke detectors or anything. And they were like way above. Mm -hmm. I will move to award the contract for the replacement or repair. I think it's 
an upgrade. Upgrade, yeah. yeah. Upgrade the police department fire alarm system to <coughs> security team and provision of armed security systems. In the amount of? The amount of $3,718.40. Second. All right, um, just one question on that before we go ahead. There are two dollar amounts here, Diane. Yeah. One on the June 25th and one on the July 2nd. Are we awarding both the $3,718.40 and the $1,860.80? Yes, the two that, different things. That's what I thought. Oh, okay, so, so both, so that is the yeah, because there's fire detection, the environment detection. $3,718.40 plus the $1,860.80 contract. <coughs> um, and it looks like there's room for one signature. And to only, only the chair to sign. All right, and Matt was our second? Yep. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, our next item is exterior doors. We're gonna have to table that because um, as I said, the chief is sick and he didn't have the quotes to me yet. All right, Alrighty. we can do that. Oh, wait a minute. Um, is that the same amount? There's one more quote here for a security team. Yes, that's, that's coming up. Town. Okay, so that's a different one. Okay, right. thank you. I wanted to make sure it wasn't part of. So we will table exterior dolls, uh, doors and move on to item C, town hall safety issues. And again, we have a quote for a security system from the same company that we just awarded the fire alarm system to. And why are we upgrading our security system? Because one we have that doesn't work. The, um, the panic buttons that we have, um, the chief came in and looked at our system that we have and uh, some of the panic buttons aren't working. We were informed that the uh, equipment is very old, needs to be upgraded, so he talked <coughs> to the um, company and it's a lot more expensive, so we, um, Chief El uh, Jewett asked if the um, security team could come in and look over our building and they can offer a lot more for a lot less. So my only question is, I know the fire chief was concerned if you do a change to anything, you have to upgrade the whole system, and I just want to make sure that that's not an issue, because that's This what is two different things. Is that's it? the okay. fire, uh, fire alarm system, and this is the security. Security, system. okay, sorry. The two different things. Yep. Yep, this is not fire alarm, this is okay. security. Yep. All right, so. Anyone want to make a motion? I'll make a motion on that question. I will move that we award a contract to security team and division of Omni Security Systems, Inc. The contract to include upgrades to the town hall security system in the, for the amount of $1,685. Second. All right, any further discussion? Uh, actually, I do. The, it says, provide a Gemini touchpad at side entry door. Yeah, I think um, Chief was explaining that you, we can make it <coughs> so that anybody comes in the building, they have like 30 seconds to go over to the keypad and punch in their code again. I guess it's an alarm system as well. That, that, that's interesting. Are we going to do that just for the door downstairs? Um, I'm not sure. I think so, but um, I didn't get to talk to the to the security team guy. So, are you updating a fire panel too? That's a different thing. That, uh, that you can get the same panel for both. I these know, jobs. but we already signed a contract for one year yeah. with the other guy. I thought it was five. No, I think it's one year. I think it's five. Oh, you do? We had the contract. Oh. So when did that contract start? Um, we we voted in December, and I think it's. <coughs> What's the penalty for backing out? I don't well, know. Can we finish the security one yeah. first? Yeah. As long as it's that's not a different pertinent discussion. to that. Now, what is what is pertinent to this 
is that there is a um, basically a monitoring because central reporting program Starlink radio communicator to report burglary, fire, panic, low battery, and power fail to security team, 24-hour UL listed central station. That has a $28 per month monitoring fee um, in its $32 with an app. Yeah, but you just read, so fire, burglar, whatever, whatever. He's, you only get monitored burglar, and then you're going to pay another fire company to monitor we're, we're fire. We are also getting panic, low battery, and power fail. For the burglar side? For the security system itself. Yeah. For the burglar, not the for fire the side. Panic button. What I'm right. saying is you're getting that for, for burglar, well, and we're going to hire the This for everything but fire. Right, so you're going to have two companies monitoring this building, and you're paying two prices. And I, I do agree that we should look into... We already signed the, the contract on the other. Ho however, we should look into, when that contract is over, adding fire to this one. I think Diane just said it's a five-year. Well, yes, that's, I, that's what I read. So it can be reviewed. We'll so... So the question is, do we need to decide on this tonight? The, the, this has nothing to do with fire. This is not saying that we are installing fire systems right. from them Just the to the town out. hall. This is, we do need to upgrade our security system, okay? Right, but so I our panic buttons aren't working. Um, there are, Nancy had mentioned a couple of other things that are not working. So. If armed robbers were to come in or, you know, um, but something. I, th I thought what I just heard was we want to see if we can combine them all. So can we... After the contract expires. Right. But what I'm saying is, do we have to do this tonight? Can we get... We have a lot of questions right here that no one seems to be able to answer. So can we put this on a future agenda, have those... An those que I almost said answered questions. Can we have those questions answered? Then we can vote. Yeah. This is not a contract for a particular period of time. Oh, he wanted me the other one to solve it tonight. Yeah, this, this, is, this is for work to be done. Yeah. And it's just a monthly monitoring fee. However, I do have a question about this that I read that just jumped out, and it may require the, the three type type it. It says, all applicable Massachusetts sales and use taxes on materials is included in the lump sum price. This company's, this, is out of buy, this company's out of Byfield, Mass. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's saying, basically, what, what this says is they're going to tax us like we're in Massachusetts. Exactly. If yes. they're applicable. It says that it's already been added, to, has been included in the lump sum price. Yeah. Um, but all applicable. Now we can ask what applicable sales tax there may be. Well, yeah, that, that's, what I, that's what I want included. to know is. Because m my guess is that's boilerplate language that they put on. Sure, that's it what, is. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. But if it if it represents, I believe mass sales tax at the moment is five percent. Think so. Yeah, if it represents five percent of this total price. Right, then it would be that much less. So exactly. So, do we want to table this for, to the next meeting I and then yes. have yes. our which one are we tabling? Uh, the town hall security system to find out whether or not there is Massachusetts any applicable Massachusetts sales use tax on the materials for it in this price. And if so, why are they considered applicable? But can we get all the information? Because oh. I understand what you guys are saying, but my vote on this would be dependent on what I know our options are in regard to the full enchilada. And then let's go back and look at the <coughs> fire alarm monitoring system for Town Hall. Okay, yeah. We talked to the fire chief today. I guess the fire chief told Larry to try and talk to the person. My concern is he's coming on Friday to put in the new radio system so we're off the landlines. Talking to the fire chief today, we can't do that because if we do, we have to upgrade the whole system. 
So I'm kind of like... Upgrade what whole system? The whole fire alarm system. Your code, you have to update your smokes, your heats, you have to get uh, calculations, you have to get a fire plan by a fire engineer. So that's why we were. I asked the chief if he could talk to the company that's coming on Friday, because obviously we can't let them come if we're going to get shut Agreed. down. Agreed. But is that the one you're locked into the five years? That's the one the board just signed in December. Right. But they did not. But they may not be able to do it if we have to upgrade the whole system. We can't afford to do that. So we might just leave it status quo, and I don't know if he's going to have a problem because we signed the contract. I don't know. Let's find out. Because he yeah. just signed a maintenance contract, right? Or is he doing the monitoring right he now? Was doing, yeah, he does the monitoring now, but it's off the landline. And this radio was to make it so it was off the cellular. Well, and that's because when the landlines go down, so does the right. fire. Right. And I didn't realize until the chief told me today, because I told him he was coming. He goes, you have to upgrade everything. But he can't uh, do I don't understand why the company didn't mention that as well. The town would be responsible for any permits or whatever to be in compliance when this upgrade he is done. Know that he has the full permits. This is my permits. point. Yeah. This is my point. But you were walking around with the building inspector and the fire chief for the smoke detectors. We have <coughs> heat detectors now. They said they should be smoked, so I think they were working to, to fix that. But yeah. All right, so we definitely... Um, we can hold off. I, I just don't know what to do about Friday. Well, uh, why does I, he I need to... The fire chief can meet with them and find out it, whether or not this is, I mean, well, that, that was my if request. that's true, then yeah. we cannot have them do any installations. Okay. So we won't cancel him, we'll just have the fire chief ask him for his plans yeah. and all that, okay. and I'll buy us some time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Works for me. Because that should have been part of the quote, was the plans and all that. So yeah. am I going to call him and cancel it then? We'll have, we can have, I'll have the chief do it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so Selectman Foote will be following up with the fire chief about meeting with the contractor regarding the fire security system, fire monitoring system, I should say. Next item, uh, emergency lights. Was he doing that too? No. No, this is Kingston Electric. So basically, if you see these pink um, sticky post-its, those lights don't work. Mm -hmm. if, the, if the power went off, those lights would not come on and they need to come on. So there's several of them in the building. And it's basically the batteries are no good on them and there's uh, lead, lead sealed batteries. So it's, those are expensive. So instead of just replacing the batteries, we'll replace the whole lights and put LEDs in there with a, um, a battery that's rechargeable. And what kind of lifespan do they have that we're looking Batteries to replace? Like, I think I, um, he didn't tell me what those were, but the ones I read online were like 10 years. <coughs> All rechargeable batteries are several lifespans. And are we replacing only the ones that are not working? Correct. And they say emergency exit lighting? They, yep, yeah, he knows. He was here, he knows to get two of those. And the rest are not, I don't think are exit ones. Yeah, it's two exit signs, one emergency remote head, six battery units. So it is really just replacing what needs to be replaced. Mm -hmm. The wireless door chime is for? That room, the back room there? Yep. The wires are hanging down, and it, I think to me it's a safety issue. I agree. With the transformer hanging out like that? Someone accidentally leans against it and puts their metal chair against it, you know. So he's going to put in a, something different. So this is just some electrical work we need to have done. Mm -hmm. Right. I will move that we award a contract for electrical upgrades to Kingston Electric Inc. in the amount of $1,299.25. Second. And for the chairman to sign? Yes, and for the chairman. <coughs> All right, any further discussion? 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's unanimous. Our next item, uh, I would entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, uh, pursuant to RSA 31-95-B, I need to accept and expend unanticipated funds to the food pantry from an anonymous donor in the amount of $50. How much? $50. Second. Sorry, it's a two fifty. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Um, changes to personnel policy? Is that there a next one? item? Oh. I'm thinking they're going to have to table that because policy committee did. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll table that one to the next meeting. Talk to those guys, would you? <coughs> Uh, the day job interfered with the night job. And we will go to the next item, uh, other business. I have some of that. If you can do the first two, please. Uh, Madam Chair, I make a motion to assign vendor manifest dated February 4th, 2020 in the amount of 70,739 and 88 cents. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Madam Chair, make a motion to sign Fire Rescue Station Vendor Manifest dated February 4th, 2020, in the amount of $443. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 I would move to sign payroll manifest for pay period January 19th through February 1st, 2020, with a pay date of February 6th, 2020. Second. That one's by Jim. All in favor? Aye. 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 Jim, I'll give you the last one. I'll move to sign requisition 2020001 for the cable committee in the amount of $408.29 to purchase batteries and free yearly subscriptions for Adobe and Dropbox. Funds to come from the cable revolving fund. Thank you. Right. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Do you need a minute, friend? Um, well, I want to make our announcements first. Okay. I want to remind everyone that the presidential primary will be held here on February 11th, 2020. And candidates night for our local candidates <coughs> will be held here on February 19th, beginning at 7 p.m. in the main hall. Everyone is invited to attend and to get to know the candidates that are running. Madam Chair, I would like to remind people that tomorrow evening at the auditorium theater in the high school will be the school district first deliberative session. Uh, it starts at 7 o'clock. I encourage people to attend. This is where the bulk of your tax money goes. Thank you. All right. Um, approval of minutes? I would. Before we approve the minutes, uh, the board came out of a non-public session under RSA 91A3 to A, C, and L earlier tonight. And I'd like to move to seal those minutes for such time that in the, uh, until such time that the majority of the board feel that it is no longer wise or prudent to do so. Second. All right. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Thank you, Matt. Yep. Okay. So, minutes. Madam Chair, I will move the approval of the minutes of the public and non-public meeting dated December 19th, 2019. Uh, when it comes to public and non-public, it's only the January 20th. The first oh, one up sorry. there is the non-public so meeting. The, the non-public minutes dated, skip the public, dated December 19th, January 7th, and January 15th. Yeah, that's all three. Second. All right. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Madam Chair, I would move the adoption of or approval of the public and non-public minutes dated January 20th, 2020. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. That's unanimous as well. All right. Um, we... Um, one, I forgot one thing on this. Sorry. There's also the public hearing minutes that you reviewed. I will move to approve That's on the January 20th as well. I thought that. Minutes for the public hearing 
On um, January 20th. January 20th. Second. Seconded by Matt. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, so that one is done as well. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure at this time there are no public session minutes for us. All right. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. So and move. This Second. is at 7.59 p.m.